I'm thrilled to be here, and I love that there are so many women in the audience because you can tell that women are usually the key to a man's success, especially when it comes to living. <laughs> Thank you for survival. Survival. Um, just to give you a little brief background, Michael and I knew each other at the University of Chicago. He was my roommate's boyfriend. I didn't dare twinkle in his direction, but I always had like a secret crush on him. But the girlfriend code was long gone when we finally reconnected 13 years ago. I had had two marriages, two kids. He had had one marriage and three kids. He called me out of nowhere, uh, March the 1st of, uh, of uh, 2000, well, anyway, we went out March the 1st of 2003. It was a Saturday, love of my life. Within a week, we were saying, You're gonna, we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together. And two months later, he was diagnosed with bladder cancer. And then a month and a half later, lung cancer. So for me, failure was not an option because I've been in the health field for a long time. I've written 10 books. The, my first health book was called Total Health Makeover because I saw it as a complete system. Total health, it's not like you can't isolate. 10 steps to your best body, balance, energy, stamina, and toxin free. When I said this, people thought I was crazy. This is almost 20 years ago. But I've been doing this for a very long time and felt like the body wants to heal. I watched my parents die in their 50s. I saw them both die. I was in the room with both of them when they died. He died of a heart attack at 52. She died of arthritis at 58, but I saw that the body wants to heal. So I became this student of health, and that's how I got to a position where when Michael was diagnosed with his cancers, I felt like I could help him. It was about food, it was about stress, exercise, so many different things. And she could experiment on me is what you were I could experiment on him. <laughs> but it was like failure's not an option. You know, this is what we knew we had to do. So in the meantime, I thought, you're going to come and see my doctors, the brilliant Dr. Saram Khalsa, who's like a detective. He works out of Beverly Hills, and he's a Sikh, but a full-on medical doctor, uses the best of East and West. And I knew that he would be a great person for Michael to see. But in the meantime, we went to see a doctor who's like the number one bladder guy in uh, the United States, according to the websites and everything else. We went to see him. We had just gotten the diagnosis. And the worst day is the first day. The first day is the worst day because you feel like, oh my gosh, it's a death sentence, that's it. We went to see this doctor who said, oh, this is your lucky day. We said, really, why? He said, because I have a cancellation on Wednesday. He said, we're going to go in, barely looked at Michael's chart. We're going to go in, we're going to take out the bladder, we're going to take out the prostate too. We're going to make a neobladder by pulling down a piece of your intestines, make a neobladder. Uh, you're going to drain it. You know, that's how we're going to make the knee. And he looked at the horrified expressions on our faces, and he said, oh, and don't worry if the two of you want to have sex. We're going to run a small hose up his penis, and every time you want to have sex, you just pump it up six times. <laughs> and I said, well, can we have the seven-pump model? Because we're a sexy couple. <laughs> I said, what about nutrition, health, detox? He said, oh, go have all the steak and highballs you want. So in the parking lot, Michael said, I'm not losing my, my, uh, my organs that way. And I said, I don't think you have to. So the book we wrote called Changing Normal, How I Helped My Husband Beat Cancer, is all about the journey he, we took, he took that first year. It was food, it was major detox, everything from the fillings in his mouth to skin brushing to rebounding, which is you know you tri you, a small rebounder, if you do it for two minutes, it triples your white blood cell count for the hour after you do it. It's a great way to boost your white blood cell count. Um, he did uh, you know, supplements, he did everything, and he did immunotherapy, which was a real court, a part of his, um, uh, you know, his change, his changing his normal. Happy to say, uh, you know, no chemo, no radiation. He's been in remission on both cancers. It's almost 13 years. On November the 24th, it'll be 13 years. <laughs> Only got a month ago. Yes. Month. Yeah, in a month. Yeah, a month ago. <laughs> it's 13 years. And, you know, he didn't have to lose his bladder, his prostate, his intestines didn't have to come down, and no pump necessary. Okay? Because that's an important part of it, too. You've got to have that, like, you know. So Michael had this entire protocol. And uh, it was just nonstop, and he, we got resistance and everything. But I'd have to say that the two cornerstones were definitely food and stress management, and of course, working with someone as brilliant as Dr. Kalsa. <laughs> I ask 
everyone who comes in, you know, what, what creates the most stress in your life? Do you have some limiting beliefs that are keeping you from, you know, moving forward? Sometimes they're thoughts, conditioned ways of thinking that we've had since we were children from some traumatic, you know, experience perhaps. So you really have to get to that emotional part of the body as well.